Well, if I had to say what is happening right now, it's something that you and I have actually spoken about a long time ago, and I have tried to explain to people. At one particular time, we were going to end up with a liquidity crisis. That is the system. Let's just let's just outline the system how it works. It must relentlessly find reasons. Reasons must be created just out of thin air for the system to continue to borrow exponentially more every single day. It can't remain static. If it remains static, we get a liquidity freeze. The system locks up. It's debt dependent. 100% debt dependent. So a lot of things that we're witnessing here, this war, this expanding war is a big part of it. Crisis to crisis, disease process, whatever they have to do is all in an effort to continue to at least find and create reasons to borrow, to pull more cash from the future. We already have two major central banks, ECB, European Central Bank, Federal Reserve, uh, with unconventional and emergency monetary policy here to stabilize the debt market. And this is all massively inflationary. You got the Federal Reserve in, re, involved in their reverse repo overnight program, trillions of dollars. And all this is doing is tricking the system into believing it's more liquid than it actually is. So eventually we're going to, you know, we're going to run out of it. There's not going to, you know, it's it's bizarre. I want people to consider what I'm about to say. Everybody knows we are now existing underneath uh, an umbrella or a Frankenstein monster of ever growing global debt. Even though that is the case, there's not enough of it. The system is relentless. It demands that more debt be created. That's the nature of the debt-based model. Henceforth, why we're seeing what we are. I don't believe there is this can go on forever. At one point, we are going to get a liquidity freeze. Forget about the stock market here that, yes, has taken a, quite a wallop as of late. And we all witnessed a pretty unbelievable event. We had that spiking in the 10-year yield, which I said people should be looking for for years, finally happened. And then what happened? We get the ECB with their emergency uh, monetary policy to stabilize the debt market. Federal Reserve the next day, the next day jumps in here and does the same thing. So there was, there was my signal, and everyone knows this already, to get out. All right, I didn't care that the stock market had been slowly bleeding off, and we once we got a 20% sell off in the S&P 500, by definition, is a bear market. And then we had that sell off. I, I, I dumped all my positions, all of them. Um, I own. One right now, I just as a matter of fact, I just started buying um, JEPI. Uh, it's a ticker symbol. Pe people might want to look at. I, I only have a very small position here, just looking to build it. But as for everything else, I kind of just got rid of it all. Plus, I wanted to regroup. Uh, I have had not such a great year, and it's not just me. I mean, you want to look at any of the major funds out there being run by any of the investment banks. They're all down. Some are down very, very sharply. That's okay. That's the market. I'm not complaining. We've had years and years and years of a bull run. And if you can't understand that eventually this stuff is going to happen, then that's you know, you should, you're in the wrong business. But anyone that follows my work realizes, and I've been saying this forever, there's going to be a moment here of reckoning. Are we there now? Well, I can say this. There is an incredible amount of effort going in to stabilize the bond market and push cash back into the stock market. But there are a few obstacles here. We got this ever increasing relative dollar strength, comparative dollar strength here, which is going to hit earnings, especially on multinational corporations. Any corporation here in the United States doing business overseas due to the currency exchange rate is going to suffer. And I think that's weighing on the market. Obviously, we are in, we are beyond a recession. We've been beyond recession for a very long time. And now we're hearing all this talk. Oh, maybe we're in a recession. Maybe we're not. I mean, come on. Anyone with half a functioning brain cell realizes that not only are we in a recession, our economy is in free fall, and this is a global phenomenon with surging inflation as well. So it's a, it's a very, very difficult environment for people. And in my view, it's deliberate. In my view, this is an attack specifically on the middle class who are getting strangled to death. It's all about control. You know it, I know it. Everyone who follows our work knows it. And it's just so in our face right now. I, I can't imagine it. People can't see it. If you're in, first of all, I mean, look, you want to look at fixed income. 
okay, you're, you're promised X because of the coupon says you're going to get this in the future here, which is, which is highway robbery, if you think about it. I mean, just for example, let's talk about its most basic level. If someone is, in, is putting cash away, in, even in a high yield savings account today, they're paying about 1%, okay? And in an environment of skyrocketing inflation, by their own numbers, you're getting, you are getting robbed blind. And that is the mechanism here. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave. You forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.